Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Here we have some Shark Road. Um, I'm sure you'll see probably in the thumbnail. Slip-on mufflers. Gonna go on to my 06 Electro Glide. Just came today. I opened the top. I haven't taken anything out yet. Show you how it's packaged. So here you get some hardware. Wrapped in foam. There's the beauties. Be able to get them out of here one-handed. Okay, there I got one out, pretty big. With the cool black end on it. So that's pretty cool. Let me get this unwrapped, get them both out, and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, we're back. Check that out. These things are so sweet. Look at that tip. I just hope they're not too loud. I didn't want something super loud. I don't want straight pipes. I kind of wanted the black because my bike is black. They're pretty big. Kind of cool. They look cool. I dig it. Um, I'll show you how to put them on here. It's so obviously right and the left. I see they didn't come with any clamps or anything. So I hope that's not an issue. But it is clear, clear through. But there is... Uh, you can see in there... I hope it doesn't make it too loud. If they're too loud, I'm gonna send them back. I don't want it to be obnoxious. I just want it to sound good. So, all right, very cool. Next thing we'll do here is take off the stock exhaust and hopefully the clamps and stuff for that I can use over because there's nothing else in the box that I can find. That was everything. Uh, I have to say I got them on eBay. They have them on Amazon. I'll put a link down below in the description. Nothing else in the box at all. No clamps in the hardware, so you have to use your own muffler clamp over that it came with. So there we go. We'll get this thing propped up and start taking mufflers off. Okay, here we'll do a cold start up and wrap it a little bit. Um, well, you're about, I don't know, maybe three feet from the exhaust pipes here on my iPhone, so. Uh, let me start it up and give you a sound, and then we'll move on. This is bone stock. Okay, so if you didn't know, on a bagger, on the Harley here, like my Electric Glide, if you open this, these two clips, or whatever you call them, you just give them a twist, and they'll come out of here, and uh, then you can just pull your bag off. There's really not much to it. So now, we've got two bolts here, and one on the clamp down here, and then that muffler will pull off. Okay, got the right side pipe off. It literally was that easy. It's a half inch here, and a... 9 16 uh, for the bracket here, so or the clamp, I mean. So now, of course, I'm going to fire it up straight pipe, and we'll show you that next, and then we'll put on the uh, other one and see what it sounds like. I should set one down here. So see how it looks next to the stalker. So there's about... Ends are the same, so it's a little bit longer, not too much. I was hoping they wouldn't be much longer, but maybe I can slide it up onto the uh, header pipe a little further. And uh, so I'd like to get it at least flush here, if not farther forward, so. I do not want it that loud. Straight pipe sounds cool, but it's too loud. <laughs> but let's fire it up with one on there and see what it sounds like.
thing to take note here. So I've got the right side off. Got your mounts here. There's a ding dent. Uh, I don't know what it's for. It's supposed to clear something in there. I'm sure it'll make sense once I put it on there. But um, so pay attention to a right and a left because these are opposite on the opposite one. So there is one side and then another side. Okay, I got the right one bolted on here. I did not tighten that clamp yet, but I just kind of got, so I got this factory clamp centered on the mounts on the pipe. You can see I got just barely clearance. You can kind of see it sticks out, I don't know, maybe an inch or so better behind the other one. Um, I may change that later with some modifications. But anyway, so here's how you're gonna bolt it on. So these little dudes will go up in the slots. And then I put a big washer in between the mount here and this bracket. And then I did a little washer, a lock washer, and nut, like so. So I'll probably end up loctiting these later as well. But, um, so the front clamp, I actually used my rubber hammer, dead blow, and kind of beat that thing on there because it was really hard to get on there. But uh, now I'm gonna put the bag on, see what that looks like, and just kind of show you the difference. just kind of set it on the bracket and kind of pivot it down in and then get your clamps in. So there's how that looks like. Get you guys out of the thing here. It's kind of cool looking. I guess you get used to it. It sticks out a little further but not bad. Looks way cooler. Look at that. Okay, let's do the left side. it up, loosen up your clamps. Just that easy. Okay, there it is, just took a little wiggling. As soon as I turned the camera off, I just kind of jiggled just right and got her off. So, you're gonna wanna take your clamp off of the pipe because you're gonna have to put it on the other one. So I loosened it up all the way. Wiggle it a little bit, but if I can take a little more and just wiggle. Okay, done with that, grab the other pipe. Okay, so gotta get that other clamp on. So when it's on there, you want the bolt to be on the bottom kind of like so. So in order to get that on there though, you're gonna have to hit it because it's, it's a snug one. Okay, we got our tapped on. Let's kind of give it a little test fit up in there. Okay, it's gonna go right up in there. So now you're gonna get your little mounts in here. Oh, those were the, that's the spares. Here's all the ones I'm going to use here. So, put those in, and I put my big washer in. You got to put your little 
bracket in. And then you'll kind of bring it up, fit them through there, like so. Then I put the small washer, then you put the big washer, or the lock washer. So I stick my finger down underneath and hold it up, and then I can put the nut on. Okay, for the other side here, I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. Try to make life a little bit easier. Just gonna shove it right in the back there. So we've got a washer, lock washer, and the nut. Should have done that the first time. Good. So once these are kind of centered up on the brackets, then I tighten them down with your half inch. Oh, my bad. Nine sixteenths. The new ones are nine sixteenths, same as the motor or as the uh, front clamp. I like there and then now we'll tighten up the front mounts but I think first we have to start it up see what it sounds like Forget to tighten up your front clamps anyway. These babies sitting up in there so they're the same. Okay, tighten up the front clamps and road test. Let's keep them from vibrating loose. pretty tight. Put your saddlebag back on. Just carefully set her in place. Just kind of work your clips back in there and lock them down. Boom. There you go. Okay, done deal. All the bolts double checked. Everything bolted on. They look amazing. I love how they look. They're pretty loud though. I'm gonna go for a little road test here and we'll see how I like them.
the ride got back. It's louder, it's throatier, it's manlier for 165 bucks or whatever for the pair. Um, I think it's a great deal. They look great. They went on pretty easy. I dig the tips. I kind of wanted the black and silver and it looks perfect on that bike, I think. Um, yeah, so if you want some big manly sounding pipes, these are four inch, I believe. Um, the specs will be in the link below. But easy to install, pretty cool looking, throaty, manly sounding machine. I don't know why you'd pay three times that for some fancy named ones that probably sound just about as good. I don't know. I'm going to give them a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Catch you on the next one.